What's up guys, your driver Mike here, back with another video. This channel is dedicated to the rideshare space, so if you're a driver, a passenger, or someone just interested in the rideshare space, consider subscribing. So today we're talking about cancels on the driver end, distinguishing what's an okay cancellation rate, when to cancel, and comparing cancellations to acceptance rates. So firstly, what is a cancellation and what is your cancellation rate? At times, after you accept your ride request from Uber, at some point before you pick up your passenger, you may want to cancel the ride. Now this could be for various reasons. If you can't get to your passenger or if there's something that's preventing you from completing the ride, you can cancel before picking up the passenger. Cancellations are different than acceptance rating. Acceptance rating is the number of rides that you accept when you're sent ride requests from Uber. Cancellation rates, on the other hand, are after you have accepted a ride and then you decide to cancel before completing the ride pickup. Acceptance ratings do not affect your deactivation. Deactivation can happen if you're violating Uber's terms of service or if your service level gets too low. Cancellation rates, on the other hand, do go into consideration when Uber determines if a driver should be deactivated. Typically, you do want to minimize cancellations. Cancellations should be reserved for those few times when you accept the ride and you determine that you can't complete the ride. That's when you cancel. But again, you want to minimize cancellations because you don't want to get towards that deactivation threshold for your market. So what is the market average? What is the deactivation threshold for cancellations? Unfortunately, we don't have this statistic. So again, it's always best to minimize cancellations. Now, from my experience, a cancellation rate from one to 5% is a pretty safe zone, and that's calculated after your last seven days of driving. Continually having a higher cancellation rate of greater than 10% will prompt Uber's system to send you notifications if you continue to ignore those notifications and have high cancellation rates that can lead to deactivation. So what is my cancellation rate? At the time of this video, I currently have an 8% cancellation rate. You really do want to keep it below that 10% threshold. And like a lot of things on the Uber platform, our rating, our acceptance rates, cancellation rates are a rolling average. So I'm curious to hear from you guys what you think of cancellations and what is your cancellation rate? Do you consider the market average when considering canceling rides? And have you had any problems reaching that deactivation threshold? And have you received notification from Uber? Your driver Mike here. I do appreciate you watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to join your driver team. And I will see you in the next one.